Fountain Hills. Is it between my arms? I don't know. Welcome to Fountain Hills. This is Katz. You're in for a fun one today. Good morning, YouTube. I'm out here at Anthony Barella's favorite course, Fountain Hills. Visiting Arizona and checking out the courses. So we'll see what this course is and how hard it is. I know a lot of people shoot over par. I'm out here to have fun though. Got my friends here. Should be a great time. You guys are loud this morning. I'm just enjoying the scenery. Sorry if this intro or whatever is a little long. This is a cool park. Look at this big pile of cactus. All right, I'm having the cactus tour right now. A saguaro. Nice. You come up to the memorial here, and the first hole is beyond this, but let's see what the memorial's about. U.S. Coast Guard. Very nice. Morning. That's cats. I thought Expo Park was bad. I'm here at Fountain Hills. This is hole one where I have a 300 foot carry across the water. I'm not playing this. I'm sorry, guys. Anthony Barella has lost a lot of discs launching into the lake here. I've seen his friend Swan do the same. I'm good. We're gonna go up to the other tee and throw from there. I'll take this challenge. Steve doesn't have to throw if he doesn't want to. You're gonna throw into the water maybe. <laughs> you wanna throw one of these guys probably? Try your orange one? All right, Steve's gonna try to turn. And I got the beast. Picked up some used disc over at Spinners on the Green yesterday and why not? I cleared the water. All right, Steve, if you lose this one, it doesn't really matter. We can get more, they're just used dist, but take your bag off for sure. I think I'm still gonna play it safe. Oh yeah. I say that, but. Yep, you played it safe. Well safe. <laughs> All right, off on hole one. We're gonna play. the water, so I'll take that. We're gonna play the rec layout here, so it's 305 feet. Yeah, this is the there's recreational tee pads and pro tee pads. Right, there's three on this particular. Oh. Pad. So we we went from. This is actually the the amateur tee. Pad. Amateur tee pad. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'm an amateur. <laughs> Perfect. And here we are, across the lake. How do these guys clear it? Confidently, at least. Ooh, that was close. Now this is a lot more scary because if it rolls, it's going in the water. Hey, it didn't roll. It's short, too. I know. Natural. <laughs> this is the second time Steve's playing, and he's playing Fountain Hills. All right, let's see what the next Checking one is. Wait for the bogey. All right, we're up to hole two. This is a shorty, just 200 feet straight ahead, right under the tree. Can you throw something straight without going in the water? Tree. Tree saved. 
<laughs> we picked up a lot of used discs, and another one is this Leopard 3 board flat. I love it. I'll throw it down a different hole, not this one. Yes, yes. You might have gotten farther than I did. That was great, dude. Anheuser, and it came out of it. Awesome. Steve got me here. I can always do a Colorado flip though, right? Let's see. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. I can still putt. Nice try though. Somehow this marble just goes in for me. I don't know what it is. All right, hole three, 294 feet, wide open in the field. A little harder to find since hole two's basket is in the short position. Usually the long position's right over the hill here by the fountain. Not today. So here we got Steve, and you're gonna throw the star turn. Go for it. No, that's fine. There's a. It's wide open up there. Yeah, it's not the way it was supposed to go. No, you <laughs> released it, nose up, and it. Yeah. Uh, we, we picked up a bunch of used this, like I said. This is the Mamba, Chet Mamba. I'm not sure how this flies on backhand. Well, that might be in the lake. First throw with it in the water. My bad. The Mamba was a secondary replacement for the Sidewinder. Hopefully I don't throw the Sidewinder in the water. Nope, perfect. Okay, we can see the Mamba right there. You're touching it, yep. Yep. I guess it's good to have a monopod. No, we're not doing this every time. Yeah, see, I think that's rocks there, something. Hey! All right, well done. Right as you threw, and great approach. Yep, you did that. Yeah, you did lefty or, or righty. You, you, we are unknown as to if she is a lefty or righty today. So we're gonna try both. Go, yeah, do left. And just. Oh, God. Hey. Right. For the first time, 50 feet. It went straight. It went straight. Can you do it? I didn't know if there was a speed path. Nope. Yeah, you can go right handed. Yeah, you throw right a lot better. All right, since I threw that mom on the lake, I took my next shot, which is my third throw. I'm over here, shooting for bogey. Oh, <laughs> close. I got a five. Steve got a three. I think you should be safe. That's early release. No, he's fine over there. Okay, tree saved it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> After Steve's uh, errant throw off to the right, I'm gonna try this Leopard Three. Nice board flat. I don't know if it'll turn or not on backhand. I 
turns only a little. And then that hooks. That is not an understable. That's a nice disc. All right, not bad for a uh, Leopard 3 first throw. Nope. Now that AB and Drew Gibson are out playing the Portland Open, we get free reign of this course. There's no one else playing behind us yet. <laughs> His dog went for the disc right as he threw it. That's hilarious. Hubie. You messed up my part. Skip. Hey, it's skipped in bounds. Look at that. We're here at hole five. Steve's not really good at backhands, but look at this hole. Forehand hole right into the tree. You have to get across the sidewalk, and now I have more pedestrians coming. Oh, no, nope, they're, they're waiting. Okay. Oh, and it blocked by the tree. Oh, well. Just like that. Nice. All right, if I play the OB, I'll play it as casual. There was pedestrians waiting, and I didn't want to throw again. Sorry. Sweet. You could have thrown it harder than that. You got me scared of the water. I know. The water is close and it's blind, so we don't know how close it really comes into play. So we're gonna walk over that edge and it's gonna be a mile away. Right? Now, these T pads are circular and raised. It says this is 163 feet to the first one or 250 to the second one. So if it really is 150 feet to that one you can see then. Good bark, right at it. Oh, just deep. Okay, that was an ace run. I didn't see my disc because it's in the water here. Oops. So it must have hit the bank and rolled. OB, nasty. I'm not rethrowing. You left a little meat on the bone. It's quite the putt. And if you land on the hill, you'll roll OB. <laughs> Scared ya. Oh. Here's an iconic hole, hole seven. You got the tree that's right in front of the way and the, up the hill and the basket. Do you go through the tree? Do you go over the tree? Let's see what Steve does. Baby. Going through the tree, he calls it. Well, never mind. Around the tree. I'm gonna do a thumber with the Leopard 3 over the tree. Right as I threw, rude. That's a rethrow. Come on, Mister, you can't do that. Envy up and over around. Almost got the bird again. I had three miserable shots that hit the tree, and all landed in the same area. So I'll take my first one, the leopard. Now that Hubie's here, sure, throw a glitch, block the camera. And the glitch left me with a long putt.
really. You went for it. That was a good one. Okay, on to the next one. If we even want to throw this one over the water, I don't know. Here's another iconic hole right along the water's edge. Hole eight, 205 feet straight ahead, but there's that little alcove. So if you see the tree to the left, you have to stay to the right of that tree or you're in the water. So what do you throw? What about this guy? I've been working on his warped atlas. I tried to unwarp it and that didn't really work. But does a warp disc still fly? Into the tree. Safe? Saved by the tree. Saved by the tree. We have a spotter up top there. That's the stable boy. Very nice. Nice and safe. We've got a nice peninsula green here. What does Steve do? Good lap. Very nice. Atlas, good water disc. It's a little more overstable than I thought it would be. You get bark razzed, and I don't know why he's barking. Brought him along to have fun. And you're not having fun, mister. <laughs> Here we have the pro pad. And throw it across the lake. Uh, I think not. However, there's an amateur pad. A little bit closer up that I've seen people throwing from too. So we will throw from there. All right, we're up to hole nine. Thanks for making it this far. 173 feet right ahead of us. Nice forehand with the mid-range, all right. And skip. Right up there. Oh, that's safe. Ooh, that was close. Oh, God. Wow, yeah, that's the wind. I'm punting right at you, miss. If I hit you, I would have hit you. Wow, mister. He is not a disc golfer. Ah! Well, thanks for watching. This has been Cats here. This has been the front nine of Fountain Hills. And we'll catch you in the back nine in the next video. This has been long enough. Peace out.